Hey guys, this is Hell Serpent 23. Uh, I'm doing part three of these videos. So I just killed the Taurus demon. Now I am leveling up a little bit, and we're gonna do the undead parish and kill those gargoyles. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using the bottomless box and I like to put the the weapons and the armor that I'm not going to use at all and I'll just put them in the box. That way whenever I press the start menu, if I want to equip something else, I don't have to cycle through all the junk. Alright, and I just got that wooden shield. this area you can this guy. And it doesn't hurt too much. He's done. Alright, so go right here. This is a good spot. Whip out your bow. And you can actually shoot that dragon's tail. I think I actually missed quite a few times. I think I was just trying to hurry and rush through it. But anyways, when you shoot that tail, um, He'll jump down off the bridge, and then his tail hangs, and you can actually shoot it again. If you're good enough, apparently I wasn't. Um, so you just do this process over and over. And, uh, his tail, which gives you a Drake sword. Drake Sword's a really good early weapon. It takes strength in one hand with 10 dexterity. So most people at this point could go ahead and use it. My character doesn't have a 6 strength, so I'm going to have to two hand it. But. Like I said, I, I don't have enough arrows right here. And I Feel free to skip ahead to the next time I'm shooting it, which should be in about two minutes. Doing this build here, uh, it's not meant to be fast. Uh, it's not meant to be cheap either. So, um, a lot of people really struggle with this game. They think it's really hard. So, uh, build and have people actually see it's possible to go through the game without being cheap, you know, without using magic, or relying on bats or whatnot. So. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to show you all how to do that. Damn, crossbow guy. Man. The last video owned me quite a few times. Didn't kill me, but still caused way too much damage. I don't understand how that shit can block all those attacks, but whatever. <laughs> Remember what I said, buy the standard arrows. You can buy the large arrows, those would make it a little bit quicker of a process. Huh. Um, and never get the wooden arrows, those things suck. They don't, they don't do jack shit for damage. But anyways, so once you have enough, and you should probably buy 
depending on how good you are to aim. Um, probably buy about 30 to 40 of them, the standard arrows. Um, you could buy more, and then that way if you miss more, if you just want to have extras uh, hanging over, then you could do that. But and that's the action you do when you don't have arrows equipped. Do it this way. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but uh, you can get two shots off. One, and this should be a two again. So it doesn't take too long. It takes about say, 30, 40 hits with the standard. Right. Drake sword, maybe like 20. Anyways, this Drake sword's pretty powerful. It's got, uh, base damage of 200, doesn't scale at all, so it doesn't matter what your strength or dex is, but uh, anyways, it's, it's a pretty good weapon for early on. I guess, where they attack you non-stop. I was just playing very poorly right there. But anyways, you kill them, they can also drop humanity, which is nice. So, whenever you see a rat, just kill it. Alright, see this gate? There's a bonfire on the other side, so I'm going to show you how to get that to that bonfire. It's actually called the Sunlight Altar Bonfire. Took off my arrows because I'm going for looks, I guess. Um, yeah. At this point, I'm poisoned, as you can see, from the from the ma or from the rats. And I don't have any moss to to heal myself, so I can only do the bonfire and die out. is because if you just sit there after about 15 seconds the dragon will just jump down and try attacking you physically or he'll blow fire on you because he likes to do that um, he's actually very powerful if you he does this attack, he straight up and blows fire straight down on you he'll pretty much kill you alright so I barely survived that one got my little ring on run, run over here, this is the sunlight altar, I run over here so the dragon he jumps on the building and he flies off, I'm going to wave goodbye to him, um, so I can go back on that bridge, he will not come back after me, unless I reload or go to a new area, and then he'll fly back and try to kill me, anyways, um, here is the switch to the gate, so even if he does come back, you can go the other way. It's okay. All right. So I'm lighting this bonfire right here. I'm gonna level up a little bit. And let's see what I do. I am switching back to the Drake sword. So you'll see lots of people uh, that aren't. Twink that you'll see him on here with the Drake sword. Um, it's very powerful for this stage. Kills most enemies in one shot. 
Alright, if you come out here and kill these guys, there's actually a couple of items. One's just a soul. The other one is a claymore. See this one hit and Alright, right, so there's the claymore. Um, it's a... and the spear, nice. And his armor. Score. Anyways, um, the claymore can be pretty, pretty good. Um, it's just a, a great sword, straight great sword. Pretty powerful when you two hand it and R1 smash. But I'm not using it. So let's see. Put it up there. If you go up in this area, be cautious. There's a black knight up here. This guy will flatten you. So almost got me there. Backstab. You can also play in your post. Ouch. Look at that. Alright, I got a Black Knight Greatsword and a Tight Knight Chunk. So, a little bit of dex and high strength, and those Black Knight weapons are really good. Alright, I figure. Since I'm not kindling my flames and getting my 10 flasks. I'm only keeping it to five right now. Um, I'm gonna go back to that bonfire. Um, if you reverse your hollow and then kindle your flame, you can get another five blasts. So you'll have ten blasts, which really makes a big difference. I just did not want to because I wanted to stay hollow, so I wouldn't get invaded. Anyway, this boar will burn himself alive get in the fire. But if you go around you can stab in his ass. Pretty cool. It's a great sword. If you go up here are these stairs, uh, there's three enemies. One turtle spear guy and then two crossbows. Um easy. They die in one, one shot. Just kill them. And then you get this item. Alluring school. So you can use that to distract certain enemies in the game. Just throw it somewhere and the enemies will attack wherever you threw it. So I guess it could be decent. I never use it really, but Alright, you go down here, there's a lot of the prior. So that one's there, there's one on the left and on the right. And I guess roll through it. Anyways, just kill them. A little easy, but they do have a couple of attacks where they just swing wildly. And they can actually do quite a bit of damage because they hit you with five or six shots. Anyways, got another broken sword. I'm just getting rid of it. I don't that crap. Right, if you go down this way, there is a mystery key right here. Um, up ahead in this level. Um, I'll show you where to use it. If you have the, m the master key, then you don't need it. Alright, climb up this ladder. There's two more deprived. You're not used to that slow R1 attack right now, it looks like. Alright, and then there's a soul. Don't fall down like that. I'll show you how to get that soul up, up ahead. Alright, just walk on this little cross beam. Walk across here, you got it. And then I think I just fall down the hole. Yeah. You don't have to, you can not damage yourself and walk on the cross beam. But, anyways, go back up the ladder, and then th there will be another ladder to your left. Go up it, and there's a fog door up ahead. What I'm doing is I'm clearing my quick, quick choice items, I guess, so that I just have items that I want on my quick, quick picks. Um, here's a night shield. I guess it's a decent shield. It's kind of heavy though. I don't ever use it. But, um, anyways, the reason I do that is because I don't want to 
have useless items on the square button. Take your bow, you can shoot this guy. Do some damage. If you're a mage, you can hit him with your sorcery. Probably kill him in one shot. Alright, here's this little turtle. Great sword. Gun. What I was looking at was there's an item, it's actually a halberd. I'll show you how to get it in a second. Run over here to this guy, turn around quickly. There's a Balder Knight. Done. They can drop Titanite shards, their Balder Knight shields, a Balder Side Sword, their armor. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. When I kill this guy, he's going to drop the dude. And there's this basement key. You'll need this to uh, access the level to go towards the cap of Eden. Alright, and then the item that you saw from above is right here. It's a halberd. They're decent weapons. Alright, when you go in here, there's three Balder Knights. This one will come at you pretty aggressively. And then there's one straight ahead and one on this left. If you go towards this left one real quick, it's one with a uh, buckler shield or something and a rapier. It'll try to parry and repost you. It's pretty good at it too. Um, but you can do it without aggroing this guy. And then you can just kill him. Alright, straight ahead is a tower knight. And straight above me is a uh, chandler. The chandler will shoot magic. Right there, you can see that. Down. But you know, just run this way, roll out of the, out of the way, because the channel will shoot one at you. Then you're kind of out of range. This guy, you can parry him, but you can't repost him. So either that shield or dodges attacks. He's not too hard, especially with the jersey. He has a couple of successful attacks. We'll also drop a steel armor set, a uh, great sword, or a mace. Um, that firekeeper soul I got. For most people, that's the first firekeeper soul they'll get. Um, if you watched my first video, I showed you how to get one before then. Um, they increase your flask, so I'll take it back to a firekeeper, and I will get my flask to plus two, so it recovers more health. Alright, if you go out this way, there's three uh, hollow soldiers. One with a crossbow, two with a short sword and shield. So that one, we'll kill this one. You can also go this direction. And um, there it leads to a, a new map, or a new part of the game, area of the game. Uh, Andre the Blacksmith is down here. And there's also a bonfire. This is right before Sins. So if you go through that little door close to Sins, but it's locked. Ring both bells. So anyways, just go here. Um, what I'm doing is reverse Halloween. And then I'm going to kill the flame so I can get my pen flat. Accidentally hit him, or you want to kill him, or something like that. He's quite me. the boxer. So look out for his punches. Anyways, you want to learn his gesture, hoorah, or however you say it. Um, then you can purchase a bunch of things from him. Looks like I'm going to repair my armor first and my weapons. But there's a couple cool things you need to buy from him, or should buy. There's this weapon smith box, armor smith box, and the repair box. It costs $2,000 a piece. Uh, really worth it. 
so whenever you're at the bonfires, you can repair your armor, your, your uh, weapons, you can also upgrade them. When it comes to weapons though, you can only upgrade the plus 5 with the normal weapon. Well, I don't know what game. Once it gets the plus 5, you can see right. Andre need anything forged. the plus 6, but you need to give him the large ember from the depths. And don't you'll see get how you. to get that later no. in the future videos. Um, and then you have to get from plus 10 to plus 11 you to see him. And it goes with the uh, same thing with different uh, hoorah, with different blacksmith. For the one uh, in part one, the mage or magic blacksmith, if you want your weapon to be magic or enchanted, you have to see him to modify it from plus five to magic, and then from magic plus five to magic plus six, or you can go from magic plus five to enchanted plus one. Um, also, there's the blacksmith in the catacombs, and there, then there's the giant blacksmith in an Orlando. Anyways, I might, have, I might die on this one. I'm not sure. I don't think I do. Anyway, here's a summon sign. So if you're playing, you're human. You'll be able to summon people like that right there. I'm not going to for the video. The only. Um, Oh yeah, if you go down that elevator, it leads to Firelink um, Shrine. So, I'm going to open it up in a little bit. But uh, if, you're, if you're playing, you can definitely summon those other people. People are here to help you. Um, I'm not doing it for the video. The only people I will be summoning are NPCs. That's why I turned human, so that I can show you if you're playing on in the offline mode, or if you are uh, just don't want to play with people, I guess you can summon these uh, NPCs, and so that's why I'm here. I'll show you later. Right. What this Chandler does is he doesn't only shoot magic; he also has a power up, above, which he powers up all these little dreadlings that he didn't him before he's done with the power up. And so all their little attacks are pretty lethal. Alright, and then he's gonna take he's rusting down. He's dead, a couple of them are dead, but they're still powered up. Oh yeah, that's what I should have done here. What happened was I have my white sign still so now. So whenever it's lit up in white, you can place your sign down. If it goes grey or darkens then it means that you're either in the spot that you can't summon, but like right there I was, or it means that you are being invaded, or that you've summoned somebody. So since I didn't summon anybody, it uh, looks like I was being invaded, so I was going to try to quit real quick, but... So... I'm going to become human again, and I will try this again. At least that Chandler, he doesn't respawn, so if you take him out once, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. Alright, so you see right there, the, the white sign goes down, went from gray to white, so I can now lay it down. sure people see that. Watch out for these guys. Like I said, the shields are very high stability. See right there? My sign's now gray. So, I'm just gonna quit. If you want to be invaded, then just let go. I usually do, but because I'm doing this walkthrough, I don't want to be invaded at the moment. Plus, most of the people here are already twinked out. They've got their plus five lightning weapons and armor fully upgraded. They'll destroy my little Drake sword. Alright, so there's my souls and humanity, except I didn't have any humanity. Heal, but I had 
my my white stone, white soapstone out. Anyways, um, a really quick way to kill these guys, and I recommend it, is to throw fire bombs at them. It'll have like a big splash area effect. I think it'll help out a lot of people. Me, yeah, I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna fight them. You know, with my freaking Drake sword, no shield. So, you have to kind of real man do it. Anyways, when you come this way, uh, there's a little soul right here. If you want to get that. Alright, and then straight ahead, there's some goodies this way. But first, there's this Balder Knight that likes to parry you. Crush him. Alright, and I got a Balder Helm. So I got two pieces of the Balder armor. Alright, see right there, the sign went gray again, so I was going to be invaded. And the only reason I'm human is so I can summon uh, the NPCs to show you where they're at. So I do apologize for doing all this quitting, but did not want to fight invaders at this point. Um, in my later videos, I got a bunch of things upgraded. You know, why not? You know, Ooh. see if I get any invaders. Then I am anyway, in love. Right here in this cage. It's Could holding you help the Knight Lotra. As you can see, and uh, that mystery key that we picked up earlier, you're gonna use it to open this cage. If you have the master key, you can just open it. So that's why you don't need the mystery key. It's the only Thank use you. for the mystery key. Yes. Since Anyways, after I you uh, Knight open the gate for this guy and talk to him, I truly he introduces this. himself and says he'll give and you a reward, a reward, but just not here. So I'm gonna show you where later. to get this reward real quick. And uh, you can actually summon him to help you out. So I'll show you how to summon him. But before that, come over here. Knock down this barrel with his body. You're going to get a humanity. Our favorite items in the game. Okay. And after you save Knight Lotrek, he's going to go to Firelink. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run down and you're going to take these elevators right here. Once you do this this first time, it's unlocked for the rest of the game so you can take these, uh, these elevators from Firelink up to here whenever you want. You can do a little hoo-bah. Firely Trine, go towards the bonfire, and then we're going to go towards the fire keeper. And there he is. Oh yeah. And while you're here, reinforce your flask with that fire keeper soul you got at that church. So I'm at plus two now. Ah. Hello there. I have your reward. Please reward. accept it. I am grateful to you for freeing me. They're useless unless you're <laughs> part of the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. Not enough so, for you. And you only need well, ten of let's them. not be plus greedy one. now. After plus one, you're going to be so. Um, you can also trade snugly the crow and get an item. But other than that, they're pretty useless. I need to trade. Um, 50 or 60 per character just by helping out people or if people help me. If I'm a sun bro, then uh, of course I max out and get 99 after helping people. But Anyways, uh, so take this elevator back up, make your flask up to plus 2, clearing out my items. So we are ready to take on the bosses, but I'm going to show you how to summon some help if you don't see anybody's signs or if you're playing offline. You have to be in human form, so that's why I'm here. You got these guys to respond after you left the area, so okay, I got caught me off guard, but just going to R1 smash kill him. That means my fun little buddies are back though. Let's 
fight on my command. Really easy. Just like, I don't know, there's gotta be like 10 or 15 next to me. Get a little overwhelming. So go this er this way. This is leading to the boss area. Climb up this ladder. And climb up this ladder, and you will be able to summon Solaire. He has a gold sign. He's your buddy for jolly cooperation. All right. So when you summon him, there's another person up there, as you saw. But anyways, I'm gonna summon uh, Knight Lautrec. He's down here. So we're summoned. Wait for it to ungray. Alright, here we go. Summoning Phantom. So, Lawtrek's gonna be on his way with Solaire. And these are NPCs, so they're computer players. Um, they're not actual people. Uh, go through this fog. You won't be attacked immediately. So, once you come out here, you can wait for Solaire and Lawtrek to join you. Really does nothing to wave to them, but it's my day. doesn't even stand still for me. That's kind of rude. Anyways, uh, yeah. So this is the boss fight. jump down. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, it's my first time I was I was two I was using my Anyways, if you like those two fighting Solaire, he's a sun bro, so you get a sunlight medal. After you kill the, the gargoyles, come in this little building, climb up this long ladder, and then there's going to be another ladder to climb up. There we go. Alright, so after you climb up this ladder, there's a little lever. You're going to pull the lever. And uh, this will be the first bell, as you can see it goes into the So there's a little cutscene. This magic moment. Alright, and then we get our homeward bone. You get a homeward bone for killing each boss, uh, but some of them, like this one, you don't get right after killing the boss. But anyways, after you ring that bell, you go back down this ladder, and then you have a visitor down here. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem. So it's Oswald. Hello, oh. Oswald of Kareem. Anyways, um, this guy's a little odd, but he teaches you the gesture. Well, compare. what is it? And he sells okay. items. He sells a miracle, he sells a talisman, name. some rings. Um, he will actually sell you Ring of Sacrifice. 
So if you need any extras, you can get them. I believe it's 10 per game, so or 10 per run through. Anyways, there's this Book of the Guilty Indictments, Purging Stones. What the Book of the Guilty does is it's a book for online players. When you invade somebody, well, you can get indicted by using those indictments. It is only and human to when you uh, get <laughs> indicted, it increases the, your sin or severity of your sin. And so you, you're then in the Book of the Guilty. And there's that little gesture for everybody. And so once you're in the Book of the Guilty, you will be hunted down by Dark Moon Covenants. Um, I may talk about that later. But, yeah, so it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, so that was Gargoyles. And thanks for watching part three. Part four will be up soon, hopefully. All right, take care, guys.